Welcome to A1 Technical Videos. My name is Horace Park. Today we're going to wire up the new Crew One module here that goes in all your Copeland compressors. All right, what we're going to do now is install the control circuit and the module power onto the module inside the compressor. I'm going to start by removing the cover, of course. This particular compressor and all our compressors come with the new Crew One NTN 369 module, which has an LED indicate luminant light, which of course indicates compressor status mode. We'll get into that in another technical video. What we're going to do is remove all the stuff that's inside the compressor. I have installed some, some module power and control circuit wires already here for simulation purposes. The red ones are going to be our module power. It doesn't matter whether they're 110 or 230 volts. It depends, of course, on whether you're running it on a 230 volt system or a 460 volt. But you want to supply the power to them, to the module, constantly, all the time. Anytime the power is, is broken from the module, it will have an automatic two minute delay built into that. That control, that's your control circuit. Like I said, we want it to be a constant power. If there's constant power here and everything's correct on all your sensors and your module is good, it will close your control circuit, which will, in, which will finish the, the system and start the compressor up. Here we're going to install the control circuit wires, which would complete the circuit, allowing the contactor to pull in. We have these modules readily available in our in our for sale section, if you, if you need one, just contact A1 or, or your local distributor. There, we have these modules. Thanks for watching the A1 video.